Star Wars special. Cinco Boy. Welcome back Cinco to boy. Star Wars. We're, are you we're making the progress. Cinco boy, yeah, we're we are making right progress. Really shit. Let's. Uh, oh, there's nothing up there. We Shine. saw Dasan and Luke kind of like mm -hmm. do some kind of weird like smacking each not other. Not gaze around. hug. Like <laughs> well, yeah. just that fight had a real case of the not gaze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just like boom, 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 and then boom, boom, boom. They um. Yeah, and then Luke ran over around like this. Like, it was, it was an interesting blah, 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 blah. battle. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? Who's this? Wow. Oh, he killed me oh, right away. So you're using strong on him too. Were yeah. you able to glean any story stuff from the Mando trailer at all? Yeah. Okay. Here's what I think is happening in the Mando trailer. So <laughs> the, the Mando trailer. What we're what we're doing is trying to get Baby Yi back to his his family. Mm -hmm. But what I think is that what Mando is trying to um, accomplish in the season is find answers where his family might be located. Yeah. So he goes to Ilum. Yeah. And so that's he can a... adopt all of his family too. <laughs> Just so, the fucking because Ilum village. I think Ilum is kind of a, a big part of the lore of like becoming a Jedi and things like that, and it has a lot of history behind it because Yoda would take all the young ones there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get their kyber crystals, mm -hmm. and then it becomes Star Killer Base. Um, so what I think is Mando takes Baby Yid there to maybe do some communing. And I like yes, you're calling him Baby Yid now. <laughs> I, I like that so much more than Baby Yoda. Just like saying Baby Yoda. It's not, it's not, you can just say Yid too. Yeah, just say Yid. I mean, there's so, always already Yoda and Yaddle. Why can't this guy be Yid? He's Yid. He's Yid in my eyes. I've never even watched the show. I know. So what happens is uh, Din takes Yid to Ilum to commune and do some some shit there with uh, like a One vision quest that, that Luke did on Dagobah. Mm -hmm. So Yid has this vision quest to find out where his family is, like E.T. phone home style. Like, where where's my family or where's my... My peeps. Right. I need to find my Yid peeps. What if Mando becomes a Jedi and becomes the new Mandalore and rules with the dark saber? And Here's he fucking a... like gets on the Mythosaur and like rides it and is like, I am the Mando. Here's a. <coughs> you, I just there's a CBR article I just remembered I had opened up. Okay. Uh, it's called the Mandalorian. Don't wait. What do you think? What did you gleam from the trailer? Nothing. Damn mm -hmm. it. Um. The Mandalorian. How much is my stuff viable? <laughs> this baby Yoda theory is so outlandish that we hope it's true. All right. So. Yoda cloned himself. <laughs> Wait. I, that, was the, that was the theory from the first season. So, no, yeah. since Yoda's species have never been named and the child himself has yet to be named, fans began referring to him as baby Yoda. The show's creators have not embraced the nickname because it suggests that the when you're child here, oh, no, it's I'm Yid, is, an, is an infant so Yoda, boys. which they insist is not the case. Oh um, regardless... God. Of what they say, one theory posted by a Reddit user suggests that the child is the same Yoda that fans know and love. According to the theory, the Mandalorian could end with Din Djarin and the child going to the world between worlds, a realm that exists outside of time and space. From there, they would travel to the past, where Din Djarin could return the child to his people. The doing Jedi. that in the second season. Sorry, after, guys. After completing his mission, Din could become one of the first Mandalorians, or he could later establish peace between the Jedi and the Mandalorians. This would explain why the two were absent during the events of the most recent trilogy. Um, the another thing they point out is um, in Rebels in season four, Edra, when Ezra Bridger enters the world between worlds, they'll do that um, in season four of Mando. Then. While there, he is able to pull Ahsoka Tano into the realm from a duel that he witnesses a few years prior. Um, so since Ahsoka is set to appear in season two, she could lead Din and the child to the world between worlds. So, that's just somebody's theory. Hmm. Some rando Reddit dude, but it's kind of interesting. Hmm. I don't it, think that so. it is that it is the the Yodas. It'd be kind and, of, and they deliver him back to the past, where he becomes the Yodas. They're gonna take that him back to the past him. to play the shitty games that Sucker has. Yeah. 
I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like it either. I like the, I like the joke. It's just, it's just, okay. it's just I don't know if I want <laughs> Baby just, Yoda to be actually it's just, it's Baby just Yoda. Kind of kind of interesting yeah. cuz it introduces time travel stuff more into But you're giving every all the fan base a validation saying that it is Baby Yoda. Oh, Duh. Oh, yes, oh, I know. My head. I understand that. Oh my gosh. That's too that's too like I'm just saying that. It's just give me it. Just give me it. It's just interesting. Yeah, I'd rather him be his own character. Because then you could have well, him, him you can do it nonetheless. go back and become like OG oh. Mandalore. Here's another theory then I can propose to that. And then, that okay. To and then, piggyback on that one. And then the whole thing about him not being a Mandalorian would not be true anymore. Because he is the Mandalorian. Here's No, no, no. I'm going back to Yid. Um, let's just say that the Yoda species, whatever they are. Mm-hmm. The Yids. They're actually they're like technically. Frieza, they're just called Frieza species. Here's Yoda here's species. a okay. I'm trying to envision this in a, in a way that would probably make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to do a bunch of analogies on things. So think of it as a uh, produce or like a, a vegetable. Yeah. Where like a grape or something, yeah. right? They grow on vines. Yeah. You have a grape. Yeah. And then you have a bunch of grapes attached to each other, right? Yeah. Think of it like Yoda species. Are like grapes. Yes. They're birthed from the soil of the force. Yeah. I think you brought something like that up. Before. And they're all genetically identical, identical but somewhat different. Like yeah. some grapes are bigger and smaller. Some are like some have prangles. Some, some are don't. green. Some are purple. Whatever. So this could like maybe be some brown something hair, some like white. they were born as pod people. Like they were yeah. in the same cluster, born from a, the same yeah. sack or something. Um, they're not individually like birthed from you know mammals or whatever like that like yeah. typical animals are. Mm-hmm. They're actually birthed from yeah. the ground up. They're beings, living beings made of force energy. So to give that one more validation, maybe Baby Yid was birthed from the same sack as Yoda. The Yod sack. The Yod sack. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Yod sack. <laughs> so here's the thing, the the Baby Yod you see could mm-hmm. be the fact that. Yoda's life essence went back into the Force, yeah. created Baby Yid. Yeah. So in a sense, maybe right. Yoda's Force sack <laughs> made Baby Yid. That's true. But it, it, it couldn't work. Wait, hold up. I don't want George Lucas to have the final say on the I don't, I don't, species. I don't know how, how the timey-wimey stuff in Star Wars works, but... I hope they so don't go timey wimey with Star Wars. If Yoda they already did, kind of did in Rebels, yeah, that's what the world between worlds is. I know, but that's something that's like a realm of like that something that's outside of space outside of space. That's not something that you do physically. You don't outside go outside of space and time. Yeah, you don't go like to go visit baby Han Solo and be like, hey, you're gonna find Chewbacca or something. Mm-hmm. And hey, like, your son's gonna set him on his course you know? over your chest. Just a heads up. But Yoda. Yoda didn't die like 50 years before Mando. Like, that won't work. Because Baby Yoda, I thought they said, was 50 years old. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But and, he could have been birthed from the same pod. But I'm saying that, like, it couldn't be Yodas because Yodas wasn't dead yet. Like, it couldn't be the Yodas energy because Yodas wasn't dead yet. You never know. Maybe. Because here's Yodis, the thing. Yodis, you don't know. Yodas you, died. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get that, but, but, but what maybe, if, maybe it's just maybe it's just a a, a vessel. No, what if the Yoda, the Yoda we to... know and love, yeah, is like the third iteration of the same pod of Yoda. Yes. And they just keep rebirthing Yodas after the next one dies. Like, oh, up pops another one. But that's what I'm one. saying, though, is like that Yid would have been born before Yoda died. Mm-hmm. So that won't work for him being a continued Yoda, because Yoda was still alive. Okay, but it could be birthed from the same pod as the one that's still alive. Yes, and it could be a thing where it's a vessel that's waiting for a spirit or some shit, right? Could be. So it could be just be like a little empty vessel pod boy, just mm-hmm. dangling, and then waiting, and then fucking Yodis dies, and then his life force or whatever goes into the little There, year. There is a mystery behind... And what I really appreciate is that they're not giving then, a whole lot of the mystery away from like what Yoda's, the Yodas mean. Could Yoda still be a Force ghost if he, he was, you know, re-Yodified into Yid? 
I'm oh, sure. No. I'm sure you parts parts of him probably can become the part of the the cosmic force or the afterlife force, and right. some of him become the living force, which is the stuff that goes into making more baby eats. Because is it a similar mm-hmm. a similar function as uh, fucking Palpy? Or here, think about it where like Palpy this. Palpy just transferred his energy into a fucking. Think about this. Boy? I want I want to get this out before I lose it. Yeah. It might be a circumstance of. Imagine Yoda as one part of this grander being. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if, if it doesn't one matter of them is alive or dead. Alive or dead. They're still I, genetically the same being. They all communicate the same way, like grapes. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter and if they you could eat all, one, there's more that exists. And they could have, like, a, a, a hive knowledge. Yeah, there you go. So, like, so when one dies, their knowledge goes into the current uh, yeed. Yeah. Whatever yodel's still around. There, there's something to that aspect because it is kind of foreign and alien that it would make yeah. sense for a Yoda to be something more force driven so it is like yeah. it's not Yoda didn't have parents Yoda had like a vessel where he was birthed from like from the force yeah kind of like put, He's a force baby put the the force feels into this uh, planet or hmm. living life form and who that knows? then sprouts out little Yodas maybe maybe that's how or well, that's one of the things that fucking Palpy and Plagueis discovered be, on their fucking venture to Trying create to... a being made of the Force. Yeah, right? they encountered was... the Yeeds. Yeah, the the thing that Things actually that were... birthed the Yeeds. Yeah, the th- this is seemingly birthed out of the living Force. Mm-hmm. So how can we do this? How can we do this with with humans? Yeah, and not just an alien being. That... How can we create our own Force being? Because I think maybe Yoda and the Yoda species is a natural occurrence yeah. and not something that is, you know, made. That's given between like, yeah, yeah, people that are like, oh, let's just have a baby. Yeah. No, but it's just like a natural thing, like a tornado. Just, just a random occurrence. Every so many seasons, a fucking yeed pops out. <laughs> yeah, it's like a seasonal treat. Like the fucking people that dress like Han Solo and yep. Pumpkin Spice Day, you know? He's got these, like, this is like this little bulb and it's got these two leaves that go around it. And then as the bulb gets gets older, the leaves kind of thicken and start pointing out. And then before it's ready, or at a certain stage, then it's, it's the yeed ears. The yeed ears. And then you just that's why he's green. He's a plant boy. Yeah. It's got all that chlorophyll. Now the on thumbnail him. has to be a picture of the wonder years. <laughs> but like... The yeed years? Yeed years. <laughs> what would you do, do if I sang out of tune? Would you get on and walk out on me? On ye. On ye. <laughs> lend, lend me your ears, ears when I sing you a song. I will try not to sing, sing out of key. key. Oh, Yoda now. Hey, a little help in my ye. All right, we'll be back in the next one. I hope that rambling of our weird lore maybe Dude, interested worked. you. That's how ideas happen. That's, mm-hmm. that's what... How, how do you think this shit gets made? Yeah, how, yeah. How, what do you, what's your this. idea? Where where did Yoda come from? Just what do you a think? A bunch of people, just being like, hey, came out where do you think this happened? Box. And they're like, well, what about this? And they're like, what about this? That's a real time live editing and fucking concepts and all that shit. Mm-hmm. What if God was water? What hashtag God is water? On the Star Wars special.